I'm going to be showing you how to back up your island in Animal Crossing New Horizons and talk about the limitations of the backups. So you need to be on this screen and press the minus to go into settings. We go into settings and you're going to load in and you're going to see Tom Nook. Okay. And Tom Nook, you're just going to have to go through his settings. It's going to say if you're a child, make sure you're a guardian. And I would like to go to island backup. All right, we'll pull that up. It's only for years when your Nintendo Switch has been lost or stolen. I will get into that. All right, so basically we're going to enable it and we're going to spam click our way through pretty much. Um, basically, it's just going to say that you must play the game, you must have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, and it's enabled. The data will be uploaded automatically when you close the game and you have in sleep mode. Periodically, it will update. So you don't have to do this manually every time you want to update your island. All right, so they enable it. Saving do not touch. All right. Now the limitations of this are actually pretty big. Um, definitely worth knowing going in. Nintendo doesn't like, you know, things that are player friendly, so there's a lot of limitations to it. So back to the title screen, and you'll see in the lower left-hand corner, once it loads, come on, come on, come on, island, you can do it. All right, and load up, and there it is, backups enabled. Now, this, as I said, is only for consoles that are lost or damaged and what I mean by that is <sighs> I'll put all this information in the description recovery is only available in situations where an Nintendo Switch system is lost stolen or damaged a new or repaired Nintendo Switch system is required an active Nintendo Switch online membership is also required in the event of a loss or stolen contact Nintendo customer support and a representative can help you restore the island and user save data from your now your newer repaired Nintendo Switch device standard charges apply for non-warranty repairs. So essentially what this means is it's only good if your switch were to break entirely or you buy a new switch. So if you were to encounter, for example, a save corruption bug, from reading this wording, they will not restore your game for you. They will not restore that. You would have to have a save corruption bug and then buy a brand new Switch and then transfer everything from your old Switch to your new Switch and say you lost it, which is a little ridiculous, but it's Nintendo. We can't expect them to do anything right the first time. 